Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to Monday. Monday is here, and I'm in the living room with a little Gwen Stefani playing on the radio. Uh, today is kind of an awkward day for me because today is kind of a do nothing day, and that's not on purpose or something that I scheduled or planned. To give you a little insight, one of the perks or downfalls of working at home is I'm very reliant on the systems that I use to actually perform my job. If I can't get into the systems for whatever reason, like there's an outage or things like that, I can't actually do anything, so I have to just sit here. Uh, so a lot of people are like, oh yeah, free day, you get to sit and watch TV and do whatever. That's true, you do get to have a free day of whatever, but it's also extremely, extremely boring on those days because you're stuck at home. You can't go anywhere because if the system comes back up, you wanna jump on and get back to work uh, because I am going to be far behind now because of it. Uh, so I am using that time effectively. I've got laundry going, I've done dishes. I, I've, I've, I've been working this morning technically even though I'm not working. So there's a downfall and an upfall to it, I guess. It gives you something to do. Um, also, let me rearrange this hat here. Um, but other than that, yeah, so also I want to say thank you so much you guys I don't know if you noticed probably not because you don't watch my videos, but I did take the weekend off uh, I did film a little bit on Sunday Saturday and Sunday and they're very very small clips uh, Because honestly I Saturday I did not do anything Nothing. I literally played video games and slept That was it uh, Easter Sunday, I did the same thing. I slept in, I went and got lunch, I went to Lowe's, uh, bought an air filter and came home and played on my computer and that was it. Uh, and then I watched YouTube and then went to bed. So literally I did nothing this weekend, absolutely nothing, which is not uncommon for me, but it was extra uncommon because I didn't film any of it. Um, so forgive me for not filming any of it. And I know what you're probably thinking, well, you're doing 365 videos. Well, true, but I've already made up for it because I have extra videos that I've uploaded that don't actually fall under the 365. So I've got plenty to cover my back. Don't worry. Uh, but I will probably put those videos together at some point. Although I realize I have yet to even upload Friday's video, which is still being edited. It's just don't even ask. It was a long day Friday. It was a rough week last week. And then rough Monday today because of the system stuff and not being able to get everything done that I need to get done, which is really irritating. Um, and then also discovering while I'm in my absence, things are going on that should not be. Yeah. So I'm just having a morning or an afternoon, I should say. But I'm resting a minute and I thought, hey, you know what? This is a good time to talk to my friends who are watching right now who are not really watching because nobody watches my videos. Again, don't blame you. But yes, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I, I literally laid on the couch last night and watched like 20 YouTube videos on the Mandela Effect, um, trying to figure out more about it. And one of the ones was they were talking about the Berenstein Bears and everybody was like, oh, it used to be this and it was that. And I'm like, no, it's always been this. Uh, I remember it from then. Just like Chick-fil-A was always not spelled with a K. And I'm like, yeah, it's always been spelled with a K. Um, some of the Mandela Effect stuff kind of throws in my mind a little bit and kind of messes with me. Those did not really bother me at all. I don't remember any of that. I don't remember any of that being different than what it is. So I, maybe I'm immune to this effect. I don't know. Uh, but I, I do feel like some of it is, is a little far-fetched. But some of it is kind of true. I don't know what uh, happens or how. There was a Sinbad one. Uh, Sinbad starring in a movie called Sinbad and I think I remember that but I don't know because again not a big movie watcher even when I was a kid I didn't like movies that much uh, I prefer TV I have a short attention span a little ADD on that so I don't actually go through and if you say well you just made fun of ADD no actually I did not because I would never make fun of anybody that has any kind of learning disability or anything of that nature but just be aware that when I was growing up I was diagnosed with ADD and so, uh, actually it was ADHD, uh, so yeah, come with that. So, really in all honesty, the Mandela Effect thing was kind of cool. It was kind of neat to read about it and learn about it. Um, even though some of it, I'm kind of like, meh, on it. Uh, but it's kind of cool to learn about those kind of things and kind of see those, those co conspiracy things and things that might be going on. 
I try not to buy into conspiracy theories too, too much because if you do, then you become one of those people and I don't want to be one of those people. So I try to just live myself. Of course, I'm also the same person that said if we're living in the matrix, I'm okay with it because if you take me out of it, more than likely it's scary and I don't want to be there. And I'm okay with living in this matrix, matrix world. The only thing I wish they would do is if I'm programmed to watch this show, please, somebody, please hit the control alt C button and type in some cheat codes so that I can give me some cash because I would love to be rich and be able to travel the world. And of course, if this is my matrix dream, I want it to be perfect and I want to be able to do what I want to do. Also, can you do something about all this extra me that doesn't need to be here? Uh, this chin, for example, the wrinkles. Can we de-age me a little bit? That would be nice too. I'd be okay. Uh, but I have to say watching the conspiracy theories videos kind of screwed me up a little bit because last night had some really whacked out dreams. For some reason, I was a singer and I was performing, uh, writing songs and music. Uh, I don't know who was with because there were several other people there that I was writing and, and performing with. Don't know. I just remember I was writing a song. I don't dream very often, which is kind of weird. Um, everybody says, oh, you dream all the time. You dream all the time. You dream. You just don't remember it. Maybe true, but I rarely, rarely remember the dream uh, beyond like a tad bit of it. I don't remember details typically, and I typically don't even remember it happening. So, yeah, so it was it was a thing for me. So I've rambled on for six minutes now, wasting your time of life and day. Uh, I'm gonna get back to doing what I do best, which is nothing. So let's get the rest of this day over with. I gotta go to the grocery store this evening. Ugh, least favorite task.